this is a Galactic Mayan Astrology Report for the 28th of June 2020. And yeah, again, you know, we're in a very, very potent portal of... There's just a lot going on astrologically, you know, we're in the middle of the eclipse season, you know, we're just coming out of Venus retrograde, you know, there's all of these different elements that are affecting the energy that is beaming toward planet Earth right now. And as we are witnessing, you know, we're really going through this massive purge and shift and transformation process, which is very apparent within our individual and also our collective life, lives. So yeah, so the wave spell that we are moving into is the energy of yellow human and yellow human energy is really, really significant for each one of us because we are all human beings. So yellow human, the human is all about what we think a human is and the potential of what a human could be and is becoming. So we have all been born into human ancestral lines and right now human ancestral lines are carrying a lot of trauma and that trauma energetically is a corruption of the DNA and it manifests in various ways throughout our behaviours and our experiences. So we have this tendency, you know, that's come from our ancestral line, you know, there's a lot of different addictions and behaviour patterns that are literally, you know, passed on and this is from my perspective and from other people's perspective as well but I feel to align with the school of thought that says that this is all about trauma and that's really what we're working with isn't it you know we've kind of yeah we're creating space we're working through our stuff we're feeling and we're healing and we are reprogramming all of the different you know if you look at the the energy and the things that are coming up for us now so we've got this piece about race that is already coming to the forefront and again this is like a corruption of the perspective of the human being as you will know if you've kind of followed me for a while my background's in sociology and I really feel the imprints of power that have been written into the stories of human beings all of these different narratives and again this is what is coming up to be purged these layers of narrative are really really lifting now and there's a lot of anger and resentment and resistance to changing these narratives because it's about identity and this is a big piece of the human the yellow human journey it's about who the fuck am i what is my identity and how does this work so there's this search for self that really presents through yellow human energy, this trying to figure out who we are and where we fit and what we're about. And it's like, OK, yeah, so we can clock all of that trauma conditioning and, you know, we've got to go into it to bring it to light. So we can't just from the sidelines be like, oh, I can see that my family did that and I'm not going to go into it. Uh, 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 uh. We've got to go into it to then shift it. So we've got that side of things going on, but then we've also got this other piece of awakening of potentiality of like, whoa, okay, so if I really align myself, I can create anything I want within this life and this existence and this reality and, you know, this feeling into our soul, feeling into our highest self knowing and operating from that space of higher self and awareness and knowing and spirit and bringing that into the human being so it's like the more that we are aware with the aware of the trauma working with the trauma creating the space within the ancestral line which is therefore then the physical human body that we are within we're creating the more space for the cosmic being that we are to embody and this is really what the new human is about. It's about being able to be open and channeling and connected above 
and open and channeling and connected below. So we are very much connected to the planet and to the earth and living in alignment with nature and feeling our connection to this planet. You know, we're connected to the earth. We are really a part of nature. And we're also this cosmic channel of insight and potential and limitlessness. So the human being potential is to really embody and what we're going toward. You know, this is what we are stirring the pot of now. Again, I'll say it again, we are the bridging generations. You know, we've come to support the birth the new humans that we are making the space for will just beam in with both of the connections open and they won't have to go through the snooze to the awake. You know, we're creating a space now and it's going to be a process, you know, to allow that openness to be present within our reality without having to be switched off. So really, you know, the, the yellow human wave spell is about us connecting. It's about us connecting to our humanity. Our humanity is not perfect. That is the point of it. You know, if we did come from this formless, higher vibrational plane, we came here into this body to experience a lower vibration and to help to purge it. But really, you know, it's very easy for us to shame and disconnect from our humanity, especially when we are on a path of self-development or self-actualization or whatever we want to call it. You know, the, the moments that we slip into the less than perfect or the less than desirable elements of what it is to be human. You know, like the pain, the pain, the shadow, the out of balance behaviour, the addictions, the gunk, the whatever coping mechanism. Whenever we go into that, the medicine of the human is how do we catch ourselves there? So last time when we were working, you know, with the blue storm wave spell energy, I was speaking about, you know, this connection of the masculine and feminine within really with the human. It's also, you know, embodying that masculine and feminine energy, but also this parental energy as well. How do we respond to ourselves when we don't get it right? How do we respond to ourselves and others? when we are not in a super conscious space what happens are we able or how able are we to catch ourselves hold ourselves have compassion for ourselves and soothe ourselves because really you know that is the key to where we're wanting to get to when we can hold ourselves in that place of it's okay and you loved and you supported and you fucking got this then we have got more space to create the change that we're wanting to create the other element of the the human as well is that we're a human family you know no man is an island and this has been a really really big piece for me personally of especially in my journey you know this past year of you know, how to do relationship, how to be in relationship. And interestingly, it's taken me deeper into understanding a relationship within myself and healing that, you know, healing all of the projections externally, all of the expectations that were put external, uh, I've externalised or whatever, um, you know, because I didn't know that it was all inside. And it's all of the bumper sticker stuff. It always comes back to that, doesn't it? It's like all of the phrases, all of the different things that we've ever been taught, that all of the books taught us or mentioned, it always comes back to all of that. But we don't get it until we get it. You know, you can't read it on the back of someone's blooming car and be like, oh yeah, I totally have integrated that now. There's got to be the experience to integrate it. And again, 
that is what this yellow human journey is about and I feel like you know for the majority of us especially you know people that are on this path now that are working in a way of wanting to clean up in whatever way that manifests or be of service in whatever way that manifests you know our human journey has been really really intense and you know a lot of the time there's been this perception of you know the what intensity means you know a world war is intense but that world war can be happening around a kitchen table you know and the thing that I feel to perceive is moving right now is that we are gaining the tools to be able to transform previous times on the planet there was all of the trauma but there wasn't any way of dealing with it so there's there is this real like cleaning up now I'm cleaning up my stuff my parents stuff my grandparents stuff we're doing it all the way back and that's what we're all doing together but this key to that energy to accessing that transformation is this loving compassionate space and the holding and then we get to feel into our potential so this is also a really good time to feel into where you're going and what you want and what you want to create because who you are now is not the same person that you were last year everything has shifted all of the energies changed so what's different now reassess realign feel into where you're going and then from that place it's like okay so what needs to move here if that's where I'm going feeling into what's moving here and allowing that the space but holding the compassion so the following wave spell after this one is going to be really really intense so we're going to start to feel that energy moving um but for now yeah just create that space for your humanity allow it you don't need to punish yourself I think that's the key piece here it's like we're moving out of the conditioning that taught us that discipline or change or transformation comes through punishment no it comes through love and encouragement from within the holding the love the creating the space for the emotion the allowing all of it the radical self-acceptance the radical self-love that is it that's the thing that creates the holding that creates the permission and then we're like okay I'm here this is where I'm at and it is perfect so I hope that you have a wonderful wave spell if you're not on my mailing list go onto my website and sign up for it because I'm going to be sharing some really potent events for my new year that's happening next month on the 26th of July it's going to be accessible from anywhere in the world because they're online events so yeah have a little look on there and yeah it also means if you sign up to the mailing list you get like additional wave spell insights and also the moon month insights straight into your inbox every 13 days so i'm sending you loads and loads of love and loads of blessings and loads of juiciness to support you and us to get things moving we've been in the sludge and now we're coming out into a different space so let's do that together and with love all right darlings take care <laughs>